Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here with my first tactics video. I don't do bat reps, I just show you how to play the game. Now, we look down here. This is going to be Tyranids killing an Imperial Knight, I think. I haven't done it yet, but we will see. Here's the situation. One brood of Carnifexes, one Imperial Knight, and they're going to assault. Now, I'm not going to do all the randomness. I'm just going to show you how it works. So we're going to assume all the shooting happened. We're going to assume that the assault takes place because it would be a pointless video if we didn't. So let's just say, boom, these three are assaulting it. And, ah, here it is, my tape measure. So let's just see. I don't know how far they are. That right there is one foot, so we're going to just move them up and say, aha, uh -huh. okay, Carnifex 1 charges up, okay, Carnifex 2, another one, that's also about a 10 inch charge, I suppose, we'll just move them up here, and the last one will move over to here. So we're not going to shoot, we're not going to do bioplasma, we're not going to do snap fire. Let's just assume that happened. I just want to show you the Hammer of Wrath effects on an Imperial Knight. Let's get out there. First, they get D3 Hammer of Wrath. So we're going to do with this one. Let's see, what does he get? Four. He's going to get two attacks. Next one. Six, he's going to get three attacks. Next one. Three, he's going to get two attacks. So that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hammer of Wrath attacks right now before we do anything else. Okay, boom. As you know, Hammer of Wrath attacks go off at initiative 10 at the base strength of the unit, which is going to be nine AP block. So, and they all auto hit. So we're just going to do it now. Let's do the first two attacks here. Okay, so we're going to do penetration. Nine, okay. Oh, and by the way, as you know, ion shield, no effect on melee. Okay, so let's even just assume all front armor, which is going to be armor 13. First one, armor penetration. Oh, nine. Plus, that's one penetrating hit already. Next one. Boom! Two penetrating hits already. Next one. He gets three attacks. Three. Nine plus three, that's twelve. Uh-oh. Next one. Oh, that's a three. That's another twelve. Next one, four, three penetrating hits, and last one for him, oh, that doesn't do it either, last two hits, two, nope, that's an 11, four, that's boom, four penetrating hits, okay, and then two 11s, right then and there. Or th well, actually, there's four 13s, I should say, not penetrating hits. So, that would happen right there. Now, after that, we would go into hand-to-hand. -hand. And um, let's just say, for the sake of, these all have four wounds, so even if they hit them, we're going to say that uh, nobody's actually really dying. But next, these all also have their normal scything talent attacks, and their normal um, mace attacks for their prehensile tail, which I gave them a mace, which would also go off at, I believe, strength eight. So all of these then have another, let me think, this is three, right? Should be three attacks. No, four, they charge, so it's gonna be four attacks each. So another four, let's see. I'm not going to roll all the dice because I think you see the point. Just with the Hammer of Wrath, I've already done four penetrating hits. Now we're going to have four, eight, twelve normal 
strength attack, uh, strength nine attacks against them. I'm fairly certain that in those 12 attacks, I'm going to get two more penetrating hits. And then on top of those 12 attacks, there will be three tail attacks with a bone mace also going off. So that 12, that's 15 more attacks that are going to hit this guy. I just wanted to show people what Hammer of Wrath looks like because that goes off before he can hit them at initiative four. So if you can understand, one charge from a Carnifex brood, not doing any shooting, not doing anything like that, you saw me roll the dice, will probably knock out an Imperial Knight in one round without much difficulty. This is my tactics video for you, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!